being quiet because it's like 4.30 in the morning. I couldn't sleep, so I decided to do my update. Also, when I get bored, I play with makeup, which is why I have makeup on. Because <laughs> it's like, I don't know, there's nothing to do at 4.30 in the morning. Anyways, um, this is my week three update. Uh, yesterday was actually week three. I was supposed to have a phone consultation with my uh, nurse practitioner, but I missed it because my boyfriend was on the phone with his insurance company, so that sucks, but I'm sure she'll call back tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I weighed myself yesterday and I was 24 pounds down and today I'm 25, like this morning I'm 25 pounds and that's my first mini goal so I'm really excited because I didn't really, I mean I didn't set a time limit on when I would reach them or anything like that so yeah, I didn't expect to reach any of my goals within the first month and it looks like I'm going to reach three of them in the first month which is awesome I have eight pounds to go to reach another. I lost nine, nine pounds this week. Like that's just the week past, week three. So um, week one, I lost 8.5. Week two, I lost eight. Week three, I lost nine. So I think I'm doing pretty good. I guess I should probably, I gotta put the little um, numbers on my profile page that says, you know, what I, starting weight and all that stuff. So the day of surgery, I was 283.5, and then when they weighed me at week, what was I, 276, then I was 268. morning I was like 258.5 or something like that. So yeah, my second goal, well my first goal was to lose 25 pounds. My second is to be 250 and my third is to be 249 because I haven't seen 249 in like eight years or something. Like it's been a while. I, I don't remember the last time I looked at a scale and saw 249. So those are my little mini goals. Um, what else? Oh, I had a, my first like aha uh -huh moment today. I bought a sweater last year from Hot Topics, which we don't have in Canada. And uh, I ordered it and it was like so expensive. It was like a $75 sweater to begin with. And then I had to pay like duty tax and all that crap when they mail it to you. So it ended up being like 120 bucks, but it is the most comfortable sweater ever. It's an ACDC sweater, actually. I'll get up and show you it. Sorry, I'm in my pajamas, so just bear with me. Alright. Here it is. It's just a gray sweater, and it's got Angus right there, and it says ACDC and blah, blah, blah. So, I got it, and um, it was too tight on me, and it's like a 2X, and usually my top half is pretty small, like, well, much smaller, not pretty small, but much smaller than my butt and thighs, so uh, it was always like too tight to wear, really, or too tight to be comfortable for me, so... I always just put it like I just put it in my closet and, you know I'll wear it one day type of deal and uh, I decided I would try it on today because it was a little cool and it fits me with room to spare like it's actually like baggy in, in places so that's awesome I'm so excited so at least I can wear it this summer like I can wear it until it's until it starts looking ridiculous basically so that's exciting, and then I'll just give it to Darren or something. 
all I have to report. I'm really tired. I have like no energy, you guys. It's not even funny. And it's really starting to bug me now because I can't do anything with Darren. Like, <laughs> we go to, like, today we went to Chapters, a bookstore up here, and uh, we walked around for maybe 20 minutes, half hour maybe. I bought three books, or I bought six books and he bought like three. And by the time we got home, I was like, beat just from walking around chapters. It was bad. And it seems that driving right now hurts my sides, like it hurts my where my incisions are. I don't know if it's like the twisting or whatever, but in the past two days I've had nausea, which is a first. Like I hear it's common, but I never had it at all. I never had any pain or like gas or nausea or nothing. So it, it really sucks because I don't often get nauseous. I have to hiccup. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah. And that's all I have to say right now. I can't think of anything else. And if anybody has any input on the whole nausea thing, like if you had it, for a certain amount of weeks or whatever, let me know because I want to know when this is going to end. Okay, I'm going to go now.